I'm Max Sterling, welcome to LARPgasm. Today we're doing a holiday spirited food review and challenge. So whether you celebrate Christmas, Jesus' birthday, Kwanzaa, Saturnalia, Hanukkah, Yule, Human Holiday, Festivus, something else, or nothing at all, this food review and challenge is for you. So we're gonna take a look at one of the oldest cookies that's known to exist, the shortbread cookie. And we're gonna wash it down with this drink I found called Winter Wassel. So, as far as these cookies are concerned, it's a very simple cookie. You can make them yourself. I chose to use store-bought ones so you can play along at home. But it's basically flour, sugar, butter, milk, eggs, salt, baking soda. I mean, there's some other random chemicals in here for no apparent reason. However, that's the basis of it. You totally make these yourself very easy. This drink, Spiced Holiday Libation, it says, it's water, sugar, apple juice, black currant juice, fancy grape juice, spices, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, cardamom, ginger, lemon juice, and orange peel. So also something you could make. Both of these items totally you know, can exist, period. Um, some of these spices, maybe not so much. Um, the orange peel, you know, depending on, you know, the time frame you're dealing with, you know, this might be a tough one, but you could probably put together some version of it. Um, you know, basically it's like a, sort of like a malt drink is what I'm gathering from it. But um, this is what we're going to go ahead and hit up, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, if you have your cookies, and you have your winter wassail, and if you don't, mix some up. This is two quarts, 64 ounces, and uh, these cookies are, five and a half ounces worth, so we're 156 grams. Uh, so go ahead and uh, get them out in front of you and let's get started here. And when we're all done, we'll do the review. So. I think rather than drink this along with it, we're gonna eat these dry ass cookies first and then we'll drink the drink. So these are in a like a fancy container here that I can't get out because my hands are too big. So there's that. There's that. And there's that. So it ends up being 12 cookies. Not very large, but um, it is a dozen, so we're going to get started with these. And uh, if you're ready, we'll go ahead and start in three, two, one. So dry. That's two.
so dry. <clears throat> In fact, the T-Rex in Jurassic Park. Four left. If you've eaten this many without taking a drink, you're already a hero. <clears throat> I just want these to be done. God, so sorry, I make a terrible calm day. Thank goodness. Last one. My mouth's so dry, I couldn't even drink. <laughs> All right, here we go. <sighs> Not too bad.
I think eating dinner right before this challenge was probably a mistake. It's a lot of liquid. Ooh. Here we go. Thought I was about to burp. Excuse me, that's disgusting. Here we go. Almost there. Hope you're keeping up. Almost there. Almost there. Alright, we're right at the bottom of that label. <clears throat> Whew, sorry for the slowdown here at the end. I thought I was going to be able to slam this, but... It's getting a little chunky towards the bottom. I kept trying to stir it up, but towards the end here, there's a lot of spices. I gotta watch myself here. I'm not trying to yak. <clears throat> it's a lot of time for you to catch up though. So close. Ah. 
Done. <clears throat> wow. So. That ended up being a lot more liquid than I thought it was going to be. So let's go ahead and talk about these. So. Good for LARP. Well. Shortbread cookies. Depending on the era that you're playing in. Um, yes, shortbread cookies have been around for a long time. If it's a fantasy game, then, you know, sure, why not? The only uh, downside to them is that, you know, they are, you know, really sort of hard and dry and crumbly. So, you have to be careful how you uh, transport them because they can break very easily. As far as <clears throat> price, those ones I bought way ridiculously overpriced for what they are. So that brand I would only buy if you were doing this challenge. If not, I'd just make them myself, find a recipe online, just make them. Uh, so portability, it's going to be rough. Price, if you make them yourself, it's going to be cheap. If you buy them, it's going to be expensive. So, yeah. Are they period? Yes. And uh, do they look the part? Sure. Depending on how you uh, cut them out and arrange them and stuff, you can make them look period. So I would say shortbread cookies are a definite go. Um, store-bought ones, maybe not so much, but if you make them yourself, definitely good choice. This drink here says it's a traditional English drink, um, but I don't know what traditional means. Um, so you'd have to do a little bit of research to see what spices and stuff they had at, during what periods and you know when they had access to things like orange peel. Um, <clears throat> so depending on what area you play in again, once again. This may be perfectly fine right out of the bottle. Uh, you may have to make your own and make some small adjustments. However, I think that this drink would be fine, you know, obviously for any sort of fantasy game. And uh, if you're not that concerned about the era or the time period or time frame, then this would be a great drink. So price, not too bad on the pricing for, for what it is. Uh, transport, yeah, it's fine. Does it look period in this bottle? No. If you pour it into another bottle, then you'd be fine. And uh, how does it taste? You know, it's pretty good. It tastes, you know, like a mulled drink. I mean, mostly the, the cloves are pretty much overpowering, so mostly you just get cloves. But, uh, yeah, between this and the shortbread, and everything tastes okay. It's just these cookies were dry, and the clothes were a little overpowering on this, but, you know, it'd be great for, you know, any LARP you're going to. Now, if it's a post-apocalyptic post type of LARP, uh, excuse me, blah, or a uh, modern LARP, yeah, I mean, modern would be fine, post-apocalyptic would be fine. Um, maybe mix up the ingredients a little bit in this. Shortbread would still be easy to make, probably, uh, in the apocalypse, I don't know how easily accessible things like butter are, but um, <clears throat> you should be able to make some sort of substitute for it. So I think that these would work for most games, but if it's a medieval fantasy type of game, then this type of stuff would be great. Uh, good little holiday uh, cheer type of thing, or even just, you know, an after meal type of thing. So definitely recommend these two. Not high on my list of exciting things, but, you know... It's pretty good. If you're looking for to do something just, uh, you know, towards the holiday season, then this is a good deal. Um, if you played along, <laughs> I hope you uh, did well. And uh, if you did, please be sure to post the video. If you liked the video, please click like. Please click subscribe. You can click the little bell icon if you want to be notified when I put new videos out, which is weekly. Um, but most importantly, please let everybody that you know know about my channel so they can share in the experience. And, uh, of course... You know, if you feel so moved, I do have a Patreon account, and you can become a Patreon of mine. Every little bit helps helps me to make this channel bigger and better for you, so I can be more entertaining. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, as always, adventure on. Oh, oh help me, baby Jesus. Oh. Oh, I think I'm going to throw up. Nope, I'm fine.